Remember the camera's there. I know. Move over. It's not my fault you distract me with this square over here. <laughs> Are you ready for this one? Yes. It's been a little while since we opened a keto box. It has been. Hey, what's up family? I'm Joe. And I'm Anthony. And this is Two Crazy Ketos. And here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on a couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. Now, you can find us on all kinds of social media, like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is 2 That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And also, don't forget to hit that little bell button so that you are notified every time we upload a new video. When are you going to learn to help with the intro so I don't have to do the whole thing by myself? I won't. Why not? Because it's too much talking. <laughs> it's too much memorization. Okay, it's time to open up another keto box. Now, if you don't know what a keto box is, this is a monthly subscription box and it comes with between eight to 12 keto snacks. What we like about it is, you try different things. It comes usually either in sample sizes or singles. So if you want to try something, you don't have to go spend 10, 15, 20, 40 dollars for a box. You can try it and then decide if you like it. This is Anthony. This is our middle son. He is not keto, but he's a foodie. And so he likes to try the different things and tell you if you should even eat it. Yes. Are you ready? I am ready. Okay. Now, if you are interested in a keto box, there is a link down below along with a coupon code. And if you use that, you will save some money off of your first box. Okay, we're gonna start off the, off the rip and we're not even gonna try this. So that collagen crap that we had last time. Okay, yeah, so we had that. <laughs> well, we should at least tell them what it is, right? You are, you can go take a look at last, look at last month's box. Video. Link Last is up day. there. It's a dollar thirty a serving. We did not like it. Let's see. Is it still my turn then? No. What do you mean no? No. Well, I'm looking. It depends here. Can, I Can we not take so long to like get stuff out of the box? No. Keto Fit bars. We actually have done reviews of Keto Fit bars. I always like them. Um, I believe we have a coupon code. We're not affiliated with them, but last I checked, the code still worked. And, uh, you know, they're pretty good. Uh, link should be down below. I don't have my glasses. The ingredients, organic almond butter, chicory root fiber, cocoa butter. Uh, we have grass-fed bovine collagen, 100% uh, organic cocoa, chocolate chips, MCT oil powder, which is MCT oil from coconut and acacia gum, sunflower lecithin, erythritol, organic coconut oil, organic cocoa, natural flavors, Himalayan pink salt, and cedar. So the ingredients in these are actually really, really good. So there is one serving in a bar, 290 calories, 24 grams of fat, 12 grams of protein, 13 total carbs, eight grams or nine grams of dietary fiber. And there is no sugar alcohol. It's coming out to be, what is that? Four net carbs and uh, yeah, so they're using chicory root fiber, which is actually a pretty decent fiber. Personally, if I were you, I'd count all of the carbs on eating this. Are you ready? Yes. I remember, I, I feel like I've had this. Oh yeah, I remember this. This is gonna be good. I remember it's like very dry wally. -y. You don't like it? No. I don't think they're bad. It's grainy. Not my thing. Not your thing? Not my thing. I actually personally like these. He doesn't. He's picky though. Uh, price on these. Yeah, picky about good food. I mean. $3.33 a bar if you don't have any kind of coupon or anything. Um, let's see. I saw this and I wanted to try this. All right. So Good D's maple flavored syrup. So when I first saw this, I thought it was soy sauce because look how like. It looks like. The viscosity it. is not there. We need a spoon. We do. Dang. All right. Hold on. And look, since I had to get up, I got my glasses. Now I can read everything. Look at that. 
Okay. All right. So good D's maple flavored syrup. So the nutrition. All right. Let's go with the ingredients first. So the ingredients are allulose, sop, soluble tapioca fiber, and natural maple flavor. Okay. There is allu. So there is allulose. Uh, nutrition facts. So there's 16 <laughs> servings in this bottle. The serving size is one tablespoon or 15 milliliters. Uh, the amount per serving: 10 calories, uh, zero grams of fat. Oh. 14 total carbohydrates, 2 grams of fiber, and 0 grams of sugar. But that is not counting the allulose somewhere in here. Oh, there it is. Uh, there is... Oh, there's 14.15 carbs minus 12 grams of allulose minus 1.6 grams of fiber equals 0.55 net carbs. Okay, so I'm going to suggest, as we always do, is this way you always have a cap. If you want to subtract stuff, do not subtract the fiber especially something like soluble tapioca fiber or tapioca fiber syrups. could be a little wonky. If you want to subtract the allulose, go ahead. So I'm going to tell you, you've got about two net carbs per serving on this. All right. Maybe I'll... That doesn't... That, that's it's not, kind of liquidy. A lot of them is... are liquidy because it's not out of a maple tree. That's not too bad. I mean, I've seen them even waterier than that. Yeah. It smells like maple syrup. Ooh. Oh, that wow. That is really good. Okay, that's absolutely... That is some of the best maple the, syrup I think I've ever had. Really? Like, overall? Yeah, other than uh, some... Real maple some syrup. Brands. Yeah. That is the best keto-friendly maple syrup that I have had so far. Absolutely. Now, I will say this. I want to lick the lid because it's going to come down. I know. Um, hey, this is good. When I looked up the price of this, which is $10 a bottle. That's not bad. Um, It is sold out on her website. But what I saw was on Amazon, it was actually on sale for $8. And they were doing like a special with like a buy one, get one free or two bottles for the price of one. I could easily down this bottle. So I may actually go order some I of that. I could easily for, down this. I'm, I'm thinking about this on top of our Keto Chow pancakes. Link for that video right over here. This is really good. I'm excited for Rachel to try this because this, I, I, this is better than the other ones that we've wow. ever tried. Even like the made up one that we get sometimes. We're saving that. Shrewd food protein pops. We've actually had these and guess what? I can already tell you, he likes these because once in a while, um, I'll get them at, uh, which were Sprouts. They were on sale a couple of weeks ago and I bought a bunch of bags because they were like $3 off a bag and Anthony sits there in the car during the day when we're at work and eats them. So the ingredients in this is milk protein isolate, natural pizza seasoning, which oh, is works. cheddar cheese powder, milk, which is milk, salt, cultures, and enzymes, salt, tomato powder, onion powder, sugar, garlic powder, natural flavor, spices, paprika extract for color, citric acid, and parsley, and then sunflower oil. And again, the sugar is in the seasoning. So there is 90 calories in the whole bag here, three grams of fat, 14 grams of protein, two Total carbohydrates. What is your favorite? Well, you've tried a bunch of them. I, I, you like the sour cream and onion, I, right? I don't have an, I've only had these two. I like these. They're really good. I like them. The only thing is, is the seasoning is only on the outside. So don't try to like eat a half of one because the inside's got no seasoning. If you're eating a half of one of these, I'm going to question how you eat your food. No, Mom. What do you got? That's what you're doing? You're doing it wrong. Some people yep. like to suck the seasoning off the outside and then eat the rest, but... You said don't eat a half of one. Well, because if you bite it in half, some people may do that. Weird. I don't know. Okay, price on those. If you get this size bag, $1.75 a bag. They are available on Amazon. Um... I will say, looking for the prices, it's the only thing we do is we open up the box to get the prices because Keto Box doesn't give them to you. This is a pretty good box. Yeah. All right. We've had these. Ayata. Roasted sunflower kernels. Pink Himalayan salt. I remember they needed more seasoning last time. I think we had a flavor, though. We had a time. flavor in it. In so it. these Some are just salted. Yeah. All right. 
Uh, the ingredients should only be two things. Oh. Uh, organic sunflower kernels, mm -hmm. pink Himalayan salt, and canola oil. Maybe they're using the canola oil to roast to. Uh, there was a sticker. They put it. a sticker on here. I wonder if it's like a. Oh, they were using sunflower oil, but they changed. Oh, the oil. that kind of changes things. I was happy. Why? Why would you use canola oil when sunflower seeds have their own oil? Yeah, I don't understand that. But all right. Okay. Uh, that that kind of puts it down a peg for me. Yeah. Two serving size in this in this in this bag. Uh, a, a serving size is a quarter of a cup. Calories per serving: 170. 15 grams of fat. Uh, six grams of total carb. Three grams of fiber. One gram of sugar. And six protein. Yes. Okay. I want more of that syrup. Yeah, I know. I think I'm gonna have keto chop pancakes for lunch now. These are pretty good. Yeah, they're your sunflower seeds. It's not yeah. like... It's not magic. Yeah. These are salted pretty well. Yeah, they are pretty good. They're, they're a lot better seasoned than last time. I just don't understand why they're roasting them in canola oil instead of sunflower oil. Okay, they next are, up. Wait, they are... Uh, $2.60 if you buy those bags. Here. Intact. We've had this before. Uh, this is good cheese. I generally find this needs more salt. Uh, so, this is the spicy flavor. The ingredients in this are Chilean buttery cheese, which is pasteurized, semi-skimmed cow's milk, salt, and ligosome, which is egg, a microbial enzyme, and cheese cultures. Then we have chili, coriander seeds, cumin, salt, contained milk, and eggs. There's two servings in a container. 80 calories per serving, six grams of fat, five grams of protein, less than one total carbohydrate. I always advise you to round up on the carbs. Ooh, that smells good as soon as I ripped it open. Say it's one carb. Oh, that's pretty good. They're good. But if you're used to the other ones like moon cheese and stuff, it's not nearly as salty, which I actually like. Where the spice at? There's a little bit there. It's a hint of spice. It's not. Nah. It's not a like blow your face off spice. I have to, like think about it really hard to taste that spice. <laughs> two dollars and forty two cents a bag. All right, I was looking forward to this. Mmly functional cookie banana chocolate chip. What is a functional cookie? I don't know, but banana chocolate chip sounds really good. That does good. sound really good. All right. Oh. What? Plant-based ingredients. Fiber, no cane sugar, and pure mm, It's time to get a cookie upgrade. Mmly was born from the idea that food should serve more than one role in our lives. Now we can eat cookies for pleasure and nourishment with intentional ingredients that just make sense. We know that the food we eat directly impacts how we move through life, so we take care and pride of creating foods that work for you. We want to share our joy and passion for functional food with you. We're in this together. Welcome to the mmm life. So, it is... Let's see, I'll read the little... I, I'm just thinking, here. like, the second you tell me the cookie is going to be functional for me, I want a cookie for pleasure, not function. What All about right. you? Yeah, pleasure. So, this is what it says. So, it's cane sugar and sugar alcohol-free, sweetened with apples and monk fruit. Okay. Grain, wheat, and gluten-free, soy gum, and dairy-free. So, it means there's no eggs, no milk, no nothing in here. All right. Okay. Made with or organic ingredients... Breakfast, snack, and dessert approved. I don't know about dessert, but all right. Keto and paleo friendly, prebiotic fiber. It, it probably and has. as I open the ingredient list, there are a lot. So okay. bear with me. Maybe it's just they're describing what's inside of things. All right, I've never even heard of this first one. Ground tiger nut flour. Okay. Dark chocolate, unsweetened, which is unsweetened chocolate, cacao butter, soluble corn fiber, sunflower lecithin, monk fruit extract, and vanilla beans. Egg with an asterisk. What is? Oh, I thought it said there it was no dairy. No, well, di eggs aren't dairy. Oh, I thought they were technically <laughs> considered dairy. No. All right. Concentrated apple juice, hazelnut meal, almond flour, ag agave inulin fiber, almond butter, coconut oil, baking powder, banana, which that is an organic one, raw cacao powder, organic, vanilla, vanilla flavor, apple cider vinegar, sunflower lecithin, natural banana flavor. 
Sea salt, vitamin E, antioxidant, tophorols for freshness, green tea extract for freshness, and monk fruit extract. Uh, about maybe seven or eight of those are uh, organic because there's a little thing, but I didn't really feel like reading which one was organic or not. Um, so there are two cookies in here. There, so that means there are two servings. So a serving size is one cookie. Okay, pause. Yeah, I know. Don't give me a package with two cookies in it and say that each cookie is a serving. Even Chips Ahoy don't do that. Come on, the package is the serving. Yeah. And now if I want to say like, open it up and give me one and give Rachel one and we only have a half a serving, great. But a package is a serving. I'm sorry. Right. Like, you lose points right for that for telling me there's two servings in a package of two cookies. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, rant over. 100 cap, so it's 100 calories per serving, six grams of fat, two grams of saturated fat, uh, 10 total carbs, six grams of fiber, three total sugar, two of which are, in, are added, added sugars, and two grams of protein. So, so how many net carbs is this? Four net Four carbs. grams of net carbs. Okay, so I want to pause for a minute. I, I don't know. Two I'm not... of the grams of sugars are from apples. No, it's not just from apples. No, I know. But, but no, but I'm saying... They're it's saying it's sugar added sugar. sugar. So when they say there's no cane sugar, there is sugar because they're also putting agave in there, which is a sugar. So we're kind of skating the line a little bit. I'm not really looking forward to this one. This sounds like a health food, not a cookie. It reminds me of Fig Newtons. When I was a kid, Fig Newtons... It, that that wasn't. Ew. It doesn't even smell good. It doesn't even smell like banana. Yeah, did I even hear you say banana? I did. It was like one of the last ingredients. Okay. I would love to know how apple. Wait. Well, they're just sweetening it with apple. Banana, but I thought apple was first. Apple is first. How do you put apple juice? How do you put more apple juice than banana in your banana chocolate cookie? Uh, okay, are we ready? I don't taste the banana. I taste apple. Okay. Very, very dry. It is dry. I am going to say, I, I don't taste banana at all. This is not that bad. It's not terrible. It's pretty, actually, it's pretty tasty. It's all right. It's not that tasty. It's, it's better than a lot of the keto cookies we've had. Yes. But I could eat this. If you and, have... and it's pretty moist. It's not super, it's not like snap dry. Well, look. I, I mean, mean, yeah, but like it's dry. No, it's not for me. It's it's okay. Um, I should taste more banana than I. So do. if you go and buy them on their website, it's seven dollars and forty five cents for three two packs, which works out to be two dollars and forty eight cents. That makes it a dollar and a quarter a cookie. So that's kind of right in line. I guess. They are better than a lot of the keto cookies that I've tried. Um, Give me something good. There's not much left. I don't know. Here, I'll do the last two because I, I, I get my meat sick. Okay. Catalina Crunch. One of those should be mine because you threw the collagen. Okay. Catalina Crunch Fruity Keto Friendly Cereal. Okay, zero sugar, gluten, and grain-free, a sweet blend of five plant proteins and fibers designed to keep you fuller longer and promote gut health. The ingredients are Catalina flour, which is pea protein and potato fiber, and non-GMO corn fiber. Then we have chicory root fiber and guar gum. Tapioca flour, high lake sunflower oil, baking powder, natural flavors, fruit and vegetable juice for color, calcium carbonate, and stevia. This package is a serving. It's 110 calories per serving, 5 grams of fat, 11 grams of protein, 14 total carbohydrates, 9 grams of dietary fiber. That is 5 net carbs. I would not deduct any of that fiber if, it was, if I was you, which for me, it's going to be 14 carbs. And they're using stevia for a it's like the adult, sweetener. It's like the adult version of the little Fruity boxes pebbles. you got of the kid. Yeah. But like obviously not as fun. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so the front, I don't know if the color's gonna show up. It looks very fruity. It kind of looks like Fruity Pebble, not shape, colors. 
colors, not shape. No, it doesn't. It's like Captain Crunch. Get your get your cereal straight. I said shape, not color. I, I mean, there's blue and yeah, but that looks more like Captain Crunch than it does Fruity Pebbles. Okay, the, well, the shape, yes, absolutely. Captain but, Crunch is better than Fruity. It Pebbles. actually is more of the shape of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It's actually, more of this shape of the stupid like Chex Mix crap. Okay, cinnamon toast. Wait, wait, I want to take wait, one out of the bag. I just want to show you the color. God, they're so the dull. Frog. Is this what adulthood is like? Look at that. It's they're so on the dull. bag. They're blue. Here it's black. No, it's bl what? That's black. Are you blind? Maybe that's blue. That's a that is blue. Not even nobody can tell me that's. And not there's blue. certainly no red in here. Look, I think the red is that, but that doesn't look red. Come on. Maybe it doesn't look fruity to me. When you look at this, it doesn't look fruity. It looked, I can't, oh, it's over there. Is that one over there? Here. You gotta cover your hat face. There you go. Okay. That's as good as it's gonna get. It's like a dull hold. It's like what they promise you, but it's what it's actually advertised as dullness and sadness. Okay, so when you first get it in your mouth, it does kind of taste like Fruity Pebbles. When the first touch to the tongue. It does. And then it goes away very quickly. But it, what's wrong with it? That is not for me. That That's is not, not for me. That's not it. No, oh no, now it tastes like, it tastes like medicine. It tastes bad now. It tastes, yeah, that is not good. It's a essence dollar. of, essence of so cereal. So a dollar forty for that bag. I think when you buy a regular bag, it's uh, like ten bucks. Wait, what? That? That's ten dollars? Well, that little bag is a serving, oh. and it's a dollar forty a serving. All right. Now I I'm gonna stick with cereal school if I want a cereal. Ugh. Okay. All right. So Keto Farms cacao dusted almonds. Okay. I've never had this before. Um, ingredients should only be like one or two. Okay, almonds, natural sweetener, which is a Wurzel monk fruit extra. Oh, I guess yeah. Butter, cream, and natural flavor. Molasses powder, whole milk powder, cacao powder, vanilla extract, salt, baking powder, natural flavors. Hold on, isn't it just cacao covered? Well, almonds? no, they're putting a sweetener in there. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Serving should be just this one bag. 140 calories for the bag. Um. 12 grams of fat, 10 grams of total carb, three grams of fiber, one gram of sugar. So that means, and five grams of erythritol. So that means it is two total carbs, two net carbs rather. Okay. Wow, there's like five of them in here. No, there's a decent amount in there. Not many. I like Keto Farm stuff. This one, what the is chocolate? This it's it's like one little piece right there that's coated. We've had Keto Farms before. This is my least favorite one. The chocolate just doesn't really come through, right? Yeah. It just doesn't. Um, price on those, two fifty a bag. All right. This always goes to me. You so. missed something. You missed something. Oh! Yeah. My turn. Ha, huh, and something good, huh? I don't care. Okay, ice chips candy, sour apple flavor. Ingredients, xylitol, sour apple powder, malic acid, cream of tartar, calcium stearate, citric acid, sour apple concentrate, fractionated coconut oil. Serving size is two pieces. Uh, there are 15 servings in this pouch. When you buy it, it comes in like a can, like Altoids. Uh, five calories, uh, zero grams of fat, zero grams of protein, two total carbohydrates. So a couple notes on this. Number Don't give one, it to your dog. Xylitol is deadly for your dog. So please make sure you keep it where they can't get to it. Number two, xylitol, though it is a sugar alcohol, is not zero on the glycemic index it will cause a little bit of an insulin I reaction. Smell it smells good. It smells like sour apple. The mint ones are really good. I've not had sour apple. It's good. These are really good. They've always been really, ooh.
Those are They've good. always been really good. They're really good. Mm-hmm. I always say I'm going to buy them, and I don't because I will eat this whole bag in a sitting. I don't really like the sour apple. I'm not a sour apple person. No, but just different. Like the mint yeah. ones. I'd buy peppermint. Or but I'll eat the whole bag in a sitting or in a day, and that's going to be a lot of carbs. Like if I were to eat this whole package, uh, we're looking at how many servings in here? 30 total carbs. Yes, the carbs are from xylitol, but again, xylitol is gonna cause an insulin reaction because it is yeah. like 13 on the glycemic index. Okay, oh, price on those. Um, when you buy them, and they come in a tin, so they're not coming in this bag. You can get like a, a combination of flavors to try different flavors in the bag, but the tin is $5.60. Okay, last one. Garlic and herb real beef stick. There, this is a company called Real Snacks. It took me a while to find it. All right. The ingredients. Kosher beef, water, seasoning containing sea salt spices, including fennel and pepper, paprika and natural flavors, encapsulated citric acid, cultured celery powder, which is just celery powder and sea salt, stuffed in a beef collagen casing. So that's really good ingredients. There's no, There's sugar, no sugar or anything, or anything in it. In it. Uh, serving is just this, just the one stick, 80 calories, five grams of fat, uh, 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 um, one total carb, zero grams of fiber, three total, three, three grams of total sugar. Well, that's probably from like the seasonings and Maybe. stuff. All right, yeah. Including zero grams of added sugar. Okay. So let's open this up. And it's just garlic and herbs. You Love your beef sticks. Yes. Kind of bland. Oh, wait, no, there it is. It took a little while. It's pretty good. It's a beef stick. I don't know how I feel about it. Feels a little slimy. The outside does. But then, the inside. That's what I'm saying. When, when you first taste the like outside, pepperoni. when you taste the outside, it's bland. Because uh-huh. of that casing. But when you get to the inside, the garlic and the herb definitely comes through. But I think it's a little too strong and it tastes like pepperoni. Does it not? Yeah, a little bit. Tastes like I'm eating this off the top of a pizza. That's what it tastes like. Yeah. It's not bad though. Price on those are a dollar eighty per stick. Um, so that's the end of it, right? That's everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, let us know down in the comment section if you have tried any of these things. Also, you may have seen on our keto on the couch on November 11th, we're going to be doing 11 on 11, which is going to be a live stream for 11 straight hours to raise awareness for our veterans. And Anthony's actually going to join us for one of the segments. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you hit that bell button so you're notified when all of that happens. Uh, so let us know down in the comment section if you've tried any of these things, which one you like, uh, which one you would be interested in trying. I am going to go on Amazon right now and order some of that stuff. This is definitely the best. That is the best this find the best in there. That was in here. Uh, I'm surprised by the cookies. I didn't think they were going to be, I'm not saying they're awesome, but I didn't think they were going to be as good as they were. So, and uh, I think biggest disappointment is that Catalina Crunch stuff. That thing sucks. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the other videos that we have linked right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head that way, make sure you head this way. Subscribe to our channel and hit that little bell button so that you are notified every time we upload a new video. And until next time, bye. bye.